Hi guys, welcome to this channel again. If you are new, hi, nice to meet you, my name is Leah. And if you are not new, thank you for coming again to this channel. Today, as you can see on the title, we are going to be doing some pancakes. Yay! We are going to be doing some pancakes and at the same time, we are going to be talking about something that happened a long time ago when I was a child and something that is kind of traumatic for me to speak about but uh, I think it is interesting to know it is a time when I almost lost my eye uh, so yeah first of all I'm gonna give you the ingredients and then we are going to talk about this meanwhile we proceed to cook the pancakes I have to say that I'm not a really huge fan of pancakes actually I'm kind of allergic to them but I'm gonna cook it for you if you guys want to try them at home I'm gonna give you the recipe and yeah I hope you guys stay till the end of the video and enjoy this uh, cooking class first of all we are going to need a mixer and then we need something to put the ingredients in this case I'm gonna be using this kind of bowl I don't know I don't know how to say this in English actually then we are gonna need milk some flour baking powder, vanilla extract, chocolate and a little bit of salt but don't worry I'm gonna give you the exact quantity of ingredients that you need to use for the recipe now we are going to do them so you may be wondering how did I almost lose an eye? starting by the beginning this happened when I was a child I think I was like six or seven years old and by that time I really used to love cats actually I still love them so I used to be so so annoying about getting a kitten that I actually made my parents get one for me I'm going to insert some pictures here so you guys can see how cute he was so yeah from that point everything was nice everything was perfect I loved him I used to play so much with him and try to make him angry because it was so fun and cute and sometimes he went crazy, I don't know why until the day he actually attacked us we were sitting on the sofa, my whole family and it was at night, we were watching a film and suddenly the cat jumped on my mom and on me and he scratched my eye to the point that I almost lost it. It is such a traumatic experience for me because everything that I remember from that time was my mom and my sister and my whole family screaming, a lot of blood everywhere, my cat screaming too, a lot of pain on my eye and my whole face, going to the hospital, spending the whole day, the whole night, sorry, at the hospital. Actually, my mom also got injured. Her head was um, in pain and yeah it was so sad and after that day the cat wasn't in there anymore so yeah I think it's so sad unfortunately I'm gonna have to deal with this traumatic experience for the rest of my life as I still have the scars on my face maybe you guys cannot see but if you get closer to my face you may can see some scars on my right eye close to my nose and maybe next to my mouth so yeah, it was so, so sad for me by that time because I was so embarrassed and kind of shocked to see myself in the mirror and see that my face was completely scratched. However, even though he attacked me, I loved him so much that I was looking for him the whole time since that day. I missed him so much and I want him to come back, but he didn't. So yeah, guys, uh, it is so sad. Even though I had to experience all those traumatic things in the past, still I don't have any kind of phobia or fear of cats. I actually love them. Every time I see cats on the street, I want to pick them and take them home and pet them. I don't know, but I think it is a nice um, way of reflecting about things because you see, even though you get harmed by things, you don't need to be scared of them, you need to confront them. And maybe this experience is going to help you in the future. I don't know, I, I'm, I'm not good at giving 
piece of advice or talking in general. But yeah, being positive, I actually didn't get hurt that much apart from getting a small scar on my face. However, the emotional pain that he caused by that time was huge, not only for my family, but also for me. Because you guys know, when you get a pet, that pet is going to become part of your family. And for us, he was like a brother or a son or I don't know, maybe just a friend. But he used to live with us and we were not expecting him to do that, even though he sometimes behaved not well. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy my little story time. So that's it guys, this is the final result. They don't really look nice. But I promise the taste is wonderful. Even though I'm kind of allergic to them, I know how to appreciate chocolate with pancakes. Actually, they don't even look like pancakes, but I don't know, they are tasty and yummy as well. So you guys should try them. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to give a like, and don't forget to try them at home. Also, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you in another video. Bye.